Hey folks, Chris King here with The Fly Shop in Redding, California. Out doing a little Euro nymphing today with Matt Calise. Uh, Matt's a sales rep for Scott Fly Rods, Able Reels, Ross, Echo, I mean the, the list goes on here. So uh, if you're getting into the sport right now, 10 and a half foot, three weight rod, that's my favorite to use. It's as simple as buying a pre-made Euro leader off the shelf. It comes with a tippet ring at the end, a little section of cider, and then just throw a tippet on the end of there, four, five, six X, uh, down the depth that you're fishing. But Matt, you go a little deeper into it uh, with your companies like Pulling Mills and all the assortments that you have of Euro nymphing. Yeah. Um, and you build your own leaders. Tell us about that. So yeah, so with my with my leader building, most of the time, I'm gonna start out with something like Chameleon for a butt section. Um, I'm gonna go into various cider materials, and I'll actually just run cider the whole way. The whole uh, liter. The whole liter. Why not? You know, yeah. like it's just there and you might as well use it. Um, I'll go down as low as 4X so that I have less sag over a longer drift, better connectivity. Um, and then, uh, so on your rod here on the Shadow X today, you were using the pre-built. I built my own liter out and you can see, uh, like my cider goes all the way back down to my reel pretty much. Um, once we got to our tippet ring, we have about three to five feet of I'm using 6X today. That's about the depth of the water we were trying to fish. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And up top here, I have uh, triple surgeons, and one of my tag ends I ran long, and that's gonna go to my top fly, that's a sweet pea. It's a nice little jig fly, um, gets them kind of right in their nose. Mm -hmm. um, and then down lower here, another you know, 20, 24 inches, I have my, my point fly or my anchor fly. Now the cool thing... I was gonna ask, um, so the anchor fly, how do we know the difference? Like, if I wanted to go buy a bunch of anchor flies? So the difference with anchor flies is when you start looking in this box here, so here we have the sweet pea that's been working really well. We have some pertagons, they all have small beads. So our anchor flies, even though this is a 14 and that's a 14, you can physically see on camera, it's this ridiculously large size bead. A lot of people think like, oh man, the fish is never gonna eat that. Not the case. Right. But it's gonna get you down and hold you tight in that faster current, allowing you to you know, get to the fish quicker and catch more fish. So, um, tons of great flies, both uh, on jigs and just wide gap hooks. Uh, real slim profiles, pertagons, all that. Seems to have been working really well lately. Awesome, it sure did work today. Appreciate you coming out with us today. Really had a lot of fun and, and learned a ton. So, um, it's a great way to fish and really gets after them. Hey guys, for these and even more products, uh, check out theflyshop.com.